What is up, you guys? Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the themes for FL Studio 21. Please like, subscribe, and let's get started. So we can get to themes by going Options, Theme Settings. And you can see here, we have this brand new theme tab that is bundled in with the rest of our setting options. Now, these here are all presets. And as we click, we will see that they change FL Studio's background. We have a few options down here. And these options actually are like master knobs. They're going to affect, instead of just a section of the theme, they're going to affect the entire theme overall. So I can change the entire hue of this theme across the board to all of our boxes with this hue knob. All right. We also have saturation, which is how saturated that color is going to be. If we turn it all the way down, it's really desaturated. Turn it up, extremely saturated. Brightness, which of course is how bright this is going to be. Our contrast, which is going to be the contrast between our different colors and text, which as you look is going to change how our text appears. Now we also have an AB section where I can go to B, for example, go back to this preset, make changes, decide I like something like that maybe, and then we can flip between the two to make a final decision. We can also reset to the default theme, or if we like the new settings we have, we can save changes as a theme and create our own theme preset that would be saved in here. So now that we've gone over these, we can go over the in-depth color selection for the different options. Selection right here. This is going to be the color of things that you have selected. So like a highlighted mixer track or a highlighted playlist track, for example. So to make this obvious, we'll turn it to something crazy like green, except and now you'll see where I have selected it is green. Versus if I change it to slate gray, where I've selected, you'll see it is slate gray. Now we also have a highlight option. I'll change that to green as well. And you will see that we've actually changed the color of our highlighted toolbar options up here at the top. This also changes the tint of our patter or song selection. Switch this to red, for example. You will now see they are highlighted a red color. Our mute is going to change the color of our mute highlights. So if I change it to that, you'll see it changes these as well. Now we also have this option color, which I have changed to green for our option LED section. And that is going to be for instead of mutes, things like your settings and these LEDs here. It is for option LEDs instead of mute, unmute LEDs. Now we can also choose our even and odd steps and the colors that they will be. So we see on our one all the way across, we have a light magenta. We could lighten that up more. We'll get too much of a change and even and darken that up. That gets real different there. Now it's going to show you what it looks like highlighted versus not. So I can actually change the value, have a little bit more contrast. There we go. That's easier to see. Now, if you do want to have more colors to choose from, you can click this Unlock Safe Colors button, and you can really start pushing things to extremes. Now, this meter one is honestly pretty stinking cool, if you ask me. We've got our level represented, and we can choose the color transition from one level to the next. So let's turn off Safe. Let's say I want a light blue at the bottom. I'll start kind of changing that there, kind of go from here. Start, boom, and I want to change that. Anything above that comes red. Now, if we look at our meters, and there's that color transition we created. Now, next thing we have here is the color of our text. I can go ahead and change this to whatever I want, and that'll change all of my text to that color. Now, if you push this to the extreme, for example, dark, right? Something crazy. You can hit light mode and that'll make sure that some of this user interface stuff stays visible. Otherwise, it'd be extremely difficult to see. This audio and automation clips use note colors is based off of other options. If we go into view grid color, we can change the color of our grid. 
We also can go to piano roll, view, and in here we have note colors. And so we can edit our palette and save the preset, right? And this will be saved within our preset. And if we go to our theme settings, we can change it so that audio and automation clips use note colors, which actually means that audio clips and automation clips will automatically base their colors off of the note colors in here. See me drag this in automatically. It went to this dark purple, dark blue color. And if we look, looks like that's in our palette. Drag something else in. It looks like we're getting a few varieties and ranges of our palette there. Boom, and we jump to, what do you know, another option within our palette. And so this option here is a cool way to keep yourself within theme if you make sure that all of your note colors by going view, note colors, and editing the palette are on theme. And now that we've gone over our theme settings, let me show you where you can save your themes. So if you go documents and image line, we can go to FL Studio. And in here is going to be a couple places where these themes will exist. If you want to go to user themes, you click settings, themes, and this is where user can save themes. We can also go documents, image line, and downloads, which I don't have here. And I believe that's because I haven't downloaded any yet. But any themes you download from FL Studio will be saved in documents, image line, downloads. Now, if you want to see default themes, these are going to be saved in your program files. So if we go program files, image line, FL Studio 21, artwork, themes, and here we are. Our default FL Studio themes. Themes from all three of these locations will be aggregated into our presets here to be edited, played with, saved, and used. And there you have it. Covered every single setting for FL Studio's new themes options. And honestly, it's not a feature I asked for, but it's a feature I'm happy to have. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate it. Subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios. Mm -hmm.